Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Another great 60 minutes of Powerbomb Wrestling is in store for you. I'm Terry Sullivan, along with Norm Waymer. We'll be talking all about Summer Stunner, the next live Powerbomb event coming up later in August, Sunday, August 18th at St. Clement's Hall. And today, a couple of very momentous uh, occurrences on the program. We got to work on your introduction to me. Well, oh, it's a little stronger. I didn't put you over enough. What are you, the best in the world? You want something like that? I hope not. <laughs> Anything you'd like, De oh master. Definitely the pleasure is all yours today. Oh, well just think, Norm, coming up on Sunday, August 18th, your dream match, Andy Shane against Madman Fulton, and you hope they tear each other apart? No, my dream match would be a, a triple threat match with you being in it. Oh, come on now. That would be my dream match. Come on now. Uh, what did I do to irritate you all? Oh, what? Everybody just saw it. Okay. A couple of uh, big events on the program today. We mentioned last week uh, we had news about Kevin. You're going to see that later on. And then something else pretty momentous concerning Benjamin Boone, which we'll leave until later on in the program. A couple of videos. Right. And we'll explain that. Okay. As they come up. August the 18th, Summer Stunner. Tickets available. PBWExcitement.com. And uh, get, the, get the front row tickets before they sell out, because they always do. Yep. All right. Well, Ben Boone's in our main event. But we're going to start off with a PBW newcomer. Oh. That would be Aaron O'Brien. Right. Who is very well known on the independent circuit. He's here at Powerbomb Wrestling to take on Pat the Bruiser. Ladies and gentlemen, our next match is a singles bout with a 15 minute time limit. Your referee, Thunder Dan Marley. Introducing first. Weighing in tonight at 235 pounds, from Detroit, Michigan, the vehicle city villain, Aaron O'Ryan. And his opponent, weighing in tonight at 325 pounds, from Columbus, Ohio, Pat the Bruiser. What a match we've got here for you on Power Bomb Wrestling. I'm Terry Sullivan along with Norm Waymer. Well, looky, looky, who's here? It's Aaron Orion. From Flint, Michigan. I'm surprised he didn't uh, smack Russell Robinson. The Vehicle City villain and Aaron Orion. What a resume this guy has. See, Very, I, his I, first time in Power Bomb Wrestling. I got things up my sleeve that you guys haven't even dreamed of yet. Well, I think the balance of power in uh, Powerbomb Wrestling has just shifted tremendously. This is a world-class athlete. I'm telling you, some of the best, and that includes Aaron Orion, they want to get in here on Powerbomb Wrestling. Guy with a nasty attitude and all the ability in the world. Oh, and he's, he's, he has wrestled everybody in the business. You got to be tough to come out of Flint, Michigan. That's for sure. Aaron Orion, U.S. Army vet. Faces one half of Warhorse. Big man, over 300 pounds, Pat the Bruiser. This will be a supreme test for Aaron Orion as he makes his debut in Powerbomb Wrestling. Certainly looking for a victory and looking to impress. And you know, when Aaron Orion comes to town, he's here to win matches any way that he needs to. But look at that. Unable to take Pat the Bruiser off his feet. And he studied him that time. Look at this. Man, it's like two bulls. A couple of freight trains. But a good knee lift there. Turned the tide for Aaron Orion. 
I have followed this guy's career now for several years. And he is a thoroughbred. Laying in those knife edges on Pat the Bruiser. He is a threat to any title here. Absolutely. In And I'm sure a lot of the other powerbomb wrestlers, especially the champions, are paying strict attention. I know they were. When he walked into the building, I saw some of the looks. Orion taken off his feet a second time by Pat the Bruiser from Warhorse. He hoists him up. What goes up must come down. Huge slam from Pat the Bruiser. Oh, oh my God. All 300 pounds in. Referee is there for two. And the debut of Aaron Orion almost spoiled by Pat the Bruiser. Welcome to Power Bomb Wrestling. We've seen Pat the Bruiser with his partner Crosshairs Kelly in some all out wars with the Circus of Pain. And here comes Pat the Bruiser stalking Aaron Orion. Oh. And Pat the Bruiser is deceptively quick. Look at him putting in the heavy lumber. And obviously a powerhouse. You remember Pat the Bruiser picking up Genghis and slamming him. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Not too much Pat the Bruiser can do to come back from that one. Head first into the steel post. And now shoulder first. And this could be the turning point in this match in favor of Aaron Orion. He jumps in the ring just long enough to break the 10 count and now relentlessly. Whoop, little message for everybody at home interrupted by Pat the Bruiser who drops him down on that hard ring apron. No padding there, Terry. Look at Pat the Bruiser, despite the pain he must be in from Having those body parts introduced to the ring post. But look at Orion. He caught his man. Showing off some of the skill that he has. Off the ropes on the other side. Oh, wow. Couple of knees. He gained all that speed off the ropes on the other side and delivered two knees to the back of Pat the Bruiser that took him off his feet. Aaron Orion is so good. So experienced, got a counter for every move. And he's got a mean streak about him. He sure does. There's no sympathy, there's no pity in Aaron Orion. From Flint, Michigan, Toledo, take notice. This is a good guy who is going to become a household name very shortly in powerbomb wrestling. But first, he's got to get past the big guy. Good point. Yep, he can't walk out of here with a loss on his debut. Oh, there's those, that double knee again. Referee's there, whoop. See, you don't see Aaron Orion messing around, playing to the crowd, none of that stuff. Going to take care of business. And Pat the Bruiser trying to regain his senses trying to shake off the cobwebs, but Orion not letting him get totally to his feet. Oh, nope, couldn't get him up. And he not misses. Not a wise move. And Pat the Bruiser took him off his feet. See, look at the speed he's got. Aaron Orion in another galaxy now. Yeah, Bruiser is fast, for sure. You, would, you wouldn't think so looking at him, but it is the case. Referee counting both participants here. A lot of punishment has been uh, dished out by both of these athletes. Aaron Orion's in trouble. Yeah, he's uh, succumbing to these power moves from Pat the Bruiser. Whip in, here he comes he's again. He's got this match right where he wants it. I guess so. Oh. Third time takes Aaron Orion down. Pat the Bruiser going for the pin. Oh, 
referee's hand was coming down for that three count when Aaron O'Ryan kicked out. And I think O'Ryan has had the wind knocked out of him again here. Pat the Bruiser, I don't know, stamina-wise, he has given and taken so much so far in this match. Is his cardiovascular conditioning sufficient to allow him to continue at the pace he's set so far? Oh! Oh! Amazing suplex! But only a two count. The German suplex, 325 pounds at least. Another thing that makes Aaron Orion so special. Aaron Orion needs to follow up here. He's got Pat the Bruiser right where he wants him, I believe. But Pat the Bruiser coming back. This man is tough as nails. But Orion just laying in everything he's got, but Pat the Bruiser will not go down. Oh, veteran move there. Followed him right in, caught him with that forearm uppercut, and Pat the Bruiser with one of his own. And going for it again, miss. Whoa, side suplex. That might do it. One, two, and three. Oh, again, the Vehicle City villain wards off a three count. Fans want a three. Both men have taken so much punishment. I don't know how much they've got left, but look at Pat the Bruiser. Back to his feet again. Are you kidding me? After that suplex, he's going to go to the top? I don't know. Pat the Bruiser going for broke. This could be the coup de grace here, but watch out. Referee pushed out of the way into the ropes. And Pat the Bruiser. No way. Oh, no he's way. got the man over his back. No way. And he's going to dump him down. Oh, that's got to be it. Yeah. One, two, and three. Here is your winner, Aaron O'Ryan. There he is, the Vehicle City villain. You're not talking to me? All right. From Flint, Michigan. Wow, what a victory in your debut here at Powerbomb. Am I supposed to be impressed? Am I supposed to be excited for myself? With him? Oh, shut up! I knew how this was gonna turn out. I knew the outcome. Like a seer, I can see in the future. I am the Vehicle City villain, and I will always reign supreme. There he is, Aaron Orion. Watch out, Powerbomb, he is here. Powerbomb Wrestling returns to Toledo coming up on Sunday. August the 18th, it's a summer stunner at St. Clemens Hall, 2990 Tremainsville. Four title matches on the card, including Brandon Day defending the heavyweight title against sexy Sean Casey. And you can find everything you need to know, including tickets at pbwexcitement.com. It's a summer stunner, Sunday, August the 18th at Power Bomb Wrestling. What a main event we've got for you. Powerbomb Wrestling back with Summer Stunner. Sunday, August the 18th. All the action gets underway at 5 o'clock. PBWExcitement.com. Go to the website for the entire lineup and for ticket information, including some special discounts for you. On the main event, the champ is back. The PBW champion, Brandon Day, against perhaps your toughest challenge, a guy who's been all over the world, who's won gold many, many times. And now he's coming after this belt. 
You know, I, I have nothing but admiration and respect for Sean Casey as a professional wrestler. Nothing but respect. But the reality is, when he tried to put the lights out on me, his fate was already sealed. I know how this is going to end. Coming out to face Brandon Day, it's, it's exciting. You know, the sweat starts to bead on your forehead. The hair starts to rise on your arm. It's like any kind of exhilarating experience. It's like jumping out of a plane, going skydiving. Have you ever been skydiving? Here's the difference. I'm pulling the ripcord on your chute. And then you're the one that goes out. Sean Casey, he will be in the main event going for the gold against the champ, Brandon Day. Summer Stunner, Sunday, August 18th. Since 1982, Red Wing Shoes at North Reynolds and Bancroft has the largest inventory of Red Wing products. With over 165 styles in stock, including the 100% USA-made heritage line, it means no waiting for the best work shoes, boots, and accessories in the Toledo area. Our certified fit specialists provide you with computerized custom fit orthotics, ideally suited for you in your work environment. With over 90 years' experience selling Red Wing products, Mike, Aaron, or Bob will help you with all your footwear needs. Red Wing Shoes, corner of Reynolds and Bancroft, where service quality and fit come first. Chill out today at Ralphie's with their frozen margaritas and daiquiris. And get half-priced wings after 9 p.m. seven days a week. What goes great while watching baseball games on our many screens? The quarter-pound all-beef dog basket, served with a pop or draft. Daily for just $9.99. What a debut, what a victory for Aaron O'Ryan, a, a young man I hope we'll be seeing a lot more of. I don't know what Pat the Bruiser thinks about him, but that was an excellent match, it really was. It was an excellent match, and it will become clearer why he's in powerbomb wrestling before we are done today. Yeah, yeah, that's coming up along with uh, what happened to Kevin, part one of what happened to Kevin after uh, Andy Shane and D-Ray 3000. A little bit later on. Carded him you out. heard from the Powerbomb champion, Brandon Day. What is going to happen when he gets in there with Sean Casey? The PBW title is at stake. Brandon Day has been so successful for, what, about a half a year or so now? But he's facing Sean Casey, the leader of the five most wanted. And you know the other members are not going to be far behind. Well, ever since that Conga Day in December, that's when... Yeah. He won the title. That's right. Conga Day, the day of the Conga Dance. Well, forever go be known as Conga Day. All right, here's what we're going to do here. We got a video came in. We are going to uh, show it to you after the break. But for those of you who did not see this last week, we're going to take you to after the match that Brian Douglas had with Jay Bernard. If you didn't see it, it's an old friend that stopped in to see Brian Douglas. And as you can see, coming to ringside, Sless. Tag team partner of Brian Douglas coming in to congratulate Brian. He wants the mic. Hasn't been around here for quite a while. What's up, brothers? Good to see you. It's good to be back at Powerbomb. How are you guys feeling tonight? Man, so I've been on a hiatus. That's a good question, Brian. I've been on a hiatus, and I've been thinking about things, and honestly, you've been running through my mind. I've been thinking about the things that we've been through, you know, and. The, the ladder match, the cage matches, the blood, the sweat. And the first round was pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Second round when we came together, we fought some clowns, meh, not our best work. That's what I'm thinking, third time is a charm. What do you guys think? Third time's a charm? 
There's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, it's the, this division is stacked. This, this tag team division is stacked. There's a lot going against us. But after my hiatus, I really think that we can do this. And I just, I just need to know you're with me, man. So you're telling me, instead of seeing us go for singles belts, you all want to see us win the tag team championships one more time? You all want to see history in the making go for one more run. You want to see us out every night partying at the bars and looking like stars? Now what you want one more time? One more time? One more time? I think you got a deal, man. One more time. Oh. Oh, I love it! What? I love it! What in the world? Oh, come on! Come on! Oh, I love what? it! What has come over Sless? The people are in shock. What? I absolutely love it. Oh, hey, ho, oh, Sless from the top rope all the way over to the other side of the ring. Feet first into Brian Douglas. Brian Douglas has fallen. Power Bomb Wrestling returns to Toledo coming up on Sunday, August the 18th. It's a summer stunner at St. Clemens Hall, 2990 Tremainsville. Four title matches on the card, including Brandon Day defending the heavyweight title against Sexy Sean Casey. And you can find everything you need to know, including tickets, at pbwexcitement.com. It's the Summer Stunner, Sunday, August the 18th, at Power Bomb Wrestling. Powerbomb Wrestling back with Summer Stunner, Sunday, August the 18th. All the action gets underway at 5 o'clock. It is a loaded card from the opening bell all the way through to the main event where Brandon Day takes on Sean Casey for the PBW title. One of the most shocking matches on this card, one that I don't think anybody, least of all Brian Douglas, ever saw coming, Sless will meet Brian Douglas, the former members of history in the making. What a shocker. What was going through your mind? What's going through my mind? <laughs> it's funny. Everybody's asking, Sless, why did you do it? You shocked the world when you betrayed Brian. But let's go back. Let's think about all the things that Sless Taylor has done in Powerbomb. I've been the cruiserweight champion. I've been multiple tag team champion. I've given my heart, my soul, my blood, my sweat to these fans. And all they want to do is ask for more. Well, you know what? Sless is more. But they're not getting any. They're not, they're not getting any. You know what, Summer Stunner, this ends. It's over because the loser leaves PBW. All right, you're going to see it Sunday, August 18th. Jeez. What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. This time in Toledo, power bomb we finish once and for all. Now get this bar off your chest. You look stupid when you struggle.
Wow, that could have been really, really serious for Celeste Taylor there. Well, I, think, that, I think it is. Having that weight dropped on him, on him, wow. You know, typical Brian Douglas to jump him. So. Well, whatever. Uh, the, the two of them will do battle. The loser leaves power bomb. Sunday, August 18th at St. Clemens. You know, it was nice to have Brian Douglas here while we had him. Well, I don't know. It, uh, we, we've seen the Celeste Taylor has taken the advantage from their past series of matches, had a definite advantage, but Brian Douglas hasn't had incentive Signed like this. Signed his own death warrant. We'll see. Loser leaves Powerbomb. I know, he's one of your favorites. Who's that, Celeste? Oh, Brian. Oh, yeah, I like Brian. He's a good enough fella. <laughs> Next. Next. You did not see the end of this match. Circus of Pain in the six-man tag with old crackhead Kevin against Andy Shane, D-Ray 3000, uh, Ray Orndorff, who will tell you something about Ray uh, after we get done here, too. And uh, we're going to take you to the very end of the match, then what happened after the match, and then you're going to see more out of the break. We'll explain it after you see it. Let's go to the ring for the six-man tag finish. Get him, Russell. Get him, Russell. Come on, Russell. Yeah, get him. Oh, oh, oh. Russell Robinson cut loose on Petto. Yeah, that, whoa, and Baruch off his feet. If you missed last month's Powerbomb Wrestling Show, Russell Robinson was knocked out by Petto the Clown. So Russell got a little bit of retribution. Meantime, we've got, uh, what, all six of them in there now. Andy Shane choking Petto with some kind of a, a rope or a piece of tape. Farouk's taking some lumps. Kevin is staying away from the action. In the meantime, D-Ray and Genghis go at it. Oh, yeah. Andy Shane has some medical tape from his wrist that he's choking Petto with. Now the clown's head on collision. Kevin got in on it. Three-way collision. D-Ray going out after Genghis. Petto's on the floor. Compliments of Andy Shane. Yeah, but look at this in the ring. And Kevin and Ray Orndorff. Come on. Oh! oh! Neckbreaker. And could this be it? It is. Here are your winners, the team of the Enforcer Andy Shane, the Frogon D-Ray 3000, and Mr. Fantastic Ray Ordor. Well, victorious there, Ray Orndorff, D-Ray 3000, Andy Shane. Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of things for Kevin. You remember what they did to you? I got something special. You can watch later. Andy Shane's taken crackhead Kevin. The heck is he taking him? Right out the safety rails and right out the door. Our Bob Wrestling returns to Toledo coming up on Sunday. 
August the 18th. It's a summer stunner at St. Clemens Hall, 2990 Tremainsville. Four title matches on the card, including Brandon Day defending the heavyweight title against sexy Sean Casey. And you can find everything you need to know, including tickets, at pbwexcitement.com. It's the Summer Stunner, Sunday, August the 18th, at Power Bomb Wrestling. Sunday, August 18th, Power Bomb Wrestling is back in town. Summer Stunner, three title matches. Brandon Day against Sean Casey for the PBW Championship. Triple threat for the women's title. And the Midwest title is at stake. Once again, you've got that belt around your waist. This time, though, another member of Five Most Wanted, Palmer Cruz. <laughs> That's right. Another member of the Five Most Wanted. Palmer Cruz, you know, you, you and I have history. There's no doubting that. The Five Most Wanted, Mellison, you have history. History's about to change. History's about to stop. Palmer Cruz, you want to step toe-to-toe -to -toe and go for the Midwest Heavyweight Championship, a title that you claim that you never lost. You know what? Whether you lost it, whether you didn't lose it, doesn't really matter. Malice is wearing it. You want it? Come and take it. Palmer Cruz, just fight me. There he is, proud champion Malice. He takes on Palmer Cruz, part of Summer Stunner, Sunday, August 18th. Since 1982, Red Wing Shoes at North Reynolds and Bancroft has the largest inventory of Red Wing products, with over 165 styles in stock, including the 100% USA-made Heritage line. It means no waiting for the best work shoes, boots, and accessories in the Toledo area. Our certified fit specialists provide you with computerized custom fit orthotics, ideally suited for you and your work environment. With over 90 years' experience selling Red Wing products, Mike, Aaron, or Bob will help you with all your footwear needs. Red Wing Shoes, corner of Reynolds and Bancroft, where service quality and fit come first. Chill out today at Ralphie's with their frozen margaritas and daiquiris. And get half-priced wings after 9 p.m. seven days a week. What goes great while watching baseball games on our many screens? The quarter-pound all-beef dog basket, served with a pop or draft. Daily for just $9.99. You guys have yeah, with Terry? Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. We're gonna have some fun now. Yes, it's called an A D D. Yeah. yeah. I'm about yeah. to make you up close no and personal way, yeah. with 200 freaking joules of electricity. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this. Get all oh yeah, baby. On there. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Plug-in connector. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Now, Kevin, yeah. we're gonna learn. Do not touch the patient. Oh, don't touch him. We don't want to touch the patient. How do you like this? Is what it says. Oh, the shock spend advice. <laughs> the shock. You know it's going to be like raising Abby when we shock a sisterly, baby. Patient. It's charging. Deliver shock. All right. We're going to deliver this shock. Are you ready, Kevin? Baby, are you ready? I'm excited. Holy. Shocking in three, two, one. Shocking. Oh. Yeah. Delivered. Begin CPR. Hey, Benny! It's alive! Ah! Look at him! He's alive! What? The rain in Spain falls mainly on the flag. Oh, Benny! There we go! All right. Hey, guess what? Circus of pain. Kevin's with us now! Ah! Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, baby. Any All right. Anytime, baby. Oh, uh, we would love to get these on. Oh, I like that. You're so enthused. You're feeling electrified, aren't you? We have him looking sharp for no time, sure, man. Let's clean him up. Yeah. We want to get him back so he can see his circus friend. Right. You gotta get that yeah, Absolutely. Play. We're out of here. Come on, my friend. Let's go. Thank you so much, Kevin. I hate to keep you. Please, go. Yes, stay away. Go ahead. Oh, everyone. He's with us now. <laughs> wow. Was that something? Put the defibrillator on his head? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Then, then you wonder why I lean on Andy Shane. He's out of control. He is, well, 
you can't say that the clowns didn't have it coming. Kevin, you know, he's an unfortunate side effect, byproduct. Of I, I would have liked it better if it was Farouk instead of Kevin, but... We don't really know at this point in time what has happened to Kevin other than the fact that maybe his brains got a little unjumbled. Seems like it might be the case. And you wanted to talk about Ray Orndorff. Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, if uh, you've been online, you've been on Facebook, uh, you know the story. If you haven't, uh, Ray had a, a mild stroke last uh, end of last week and was in the hospital for a couple of days. But... Uh, He's doing much better. He's back home, and uh, he uh, plans on being there on August the 18th. They gave him that clot buster drug, yes. which really did the trick for him, so good yes. for him. And Queen Amanata had successful knee surgery. Right, and uh, you heard from the cheater malice. Ready to go to the main event? We are. This is the bachelor Ben Boone taking on Crosshairs Kelly. And sit down in your seat, get ready for this of what happened and what happened after the match. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is a singles bout with a 15 minute time limit. Your referee is Thunder Dan Marley. <laughs> Introducing first, from Capital City, weighing in tonight at 280 pounds, Crosshairs Kelly! And his opponent weighs in tonight at 245 pounds from Santa Monica, California, The Bachelor, Benjamin Boo! And away we go, back on Powerbomb Wrestling. I'm Jerry Sullivan, along with the Commissioner, Norm Wehmer, and the, the Kenny Urban. Why, right. what is with the the Kenny Urban? Well, what kind of half-twitted question was that, Terry? It is my name. It is the Kenny Urban. There is one, there is the only. I mean, there is not even a test tube in a science lab across this world that could produce these kind of genes I have. Whoa. And I'm not talking about Wranglers, Terry. The real question is, why don't they call you Elmer Fudd? It's, it's quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. Well, one half of Warhorse Crosshairs Kelly set and ready. Benjamin Boone taking his time to smell the roses. All right, I'm writing this one down. Elmer Fudd. Yeah. <laughs> Very impatient, Crosshairs Kelly, Benjamin Boone. Can't say enough about Benjamin Boone, honestly. I mean, this is all for show here. He's double tough and certainly deserves every championship title he's worn and every opportunity he gets. If there's one thing about The Bachelor, Ben Boone, or B-Cube, as I like to call him, is he is one heck of a showman. Yes, B-Cube. Pretty good. I'm going to remember that. Instead of GQ. Okay. Bachelor, I think, is finally just about ready to get down to business. Crosshairs Kelly. This guy is just 150% all the time. He is always in fifth gear. And we are ready, and we have the bell. What's your prediction, Mr. Urban? Well, I mean, what I'm going to say here is not only is The Bachelor quite the showman, but he is one heck of a competitor. I'll give it to Crosshairs. I've been in the ring with him. He has one mean chop, I'll tell you that. But, I mean, personally, I think The Bachelor's the one time. And they lock up, referee holds center ring. Test of strength here, test of power and resistance. Let's see who gets the advantage. Well, sort of a stalemate there. We may go back for another attempt here. Just sort of feeling each other out. Once again, they lock up the power of, whoa, Baboon skillfully turns crosshairs around in the corner. 
Get a clean break. That's not very characteristic of Boone. Rush in and miss. And whoa. Lit up that chest with that knife edge. There's those mean chops I was telling That's you. That's what yeah. I know how that feels. Yeah. Wow. He has got some power and some strength. Look at that. And the bachelor is taking his lungs, but this is when he's at his most dangerous, isn't it, Kenny? You never know what he's gonna pull out next. You think you'll have him, and then ooh, and hopefully he'll get better. In for the count, oh, didn't even give one. He's got a lot left in him. Crosshairs is gonna have to do a lot more than that. Oh, wow. That one might have knocked a few teeth loose. I don't think Crosshairs Kelly is very intimidated. No, not at all. He's got a very much a, a winner's attitude. Boone feeling those uh, teeth to see if they're all still there. Back into the center ring though. Crosshairs Kelly again, one half of Warhorse. Now there. See, just when you think you've got Benjamin Boone where you want him. He, Crosshairs needed to get right back in and be on top of him. He gave Boone too much time. We're hearing from the Kenny Urban at ringside. Our special guest here to call this match. What's he reaching for? Referee is not paying attention Rose. here. Yeah. He, you know, think of what he's done to Brandon Day in the past. He a little peace offering here. Don't turn your back on him. Isn't that nice? Yeah, peace and love. No, I don't trust him for Sharing a minute. The go oh. oh, come on now. Wow. That's just plain rude. He gave him a gift. <laughs> he gave him a gift, and that's what he does. Well, I think Crosshairs Kelly's been around long enough to know that he's just about as likely to get the stem of that rose right in his eye from Ben Boone. Well, now he is unleashing the heavy artillery on Crosshairs Kelly. He tried to spread the peace. I think if we counted up the number of main events over the past couple of years in powerbomb wrestling, Benjamin Boone would have appeared in, I don't know if a majority, but certainly nearly that, and he is in serious trouble now. Now oh, here comes Crosshairs, watch out. Crosshairs Kelly heading out to ringside. Oh, wow. He was giving up the no moss. And the bachelor Benjamin Boone just may have met his match here. The crosshairs Kelly, Kenny, if, oh now, watch, there he goes. See, Crosshairs Kelly, he's coming on pretty aggressive, but you gotta always be oh. on your toes. That's when, that's when Ben Boone will get you. There is no padding there. That's just steel underneath. Yeah. That's the steel frame for the ring. Yeah, and he smacked his spine into that corner there. That must, that, that, that probably is the kind of a thing that can just make it almost numb. I mean, that's the kind of thing that can take you out. If you land wrong, it does not take much, Terry. Yeah, you don't want to mess with the spine. Well, I imagine there's some frustration here on Ben Boone's part because he had an incredible run, two-time champion, longest reigning powerbomb champion. But uh, as of late, his singles record hasn't been the best. And I'm sure he's getting a little frustrated. Yeah, we've seen a, a, a lot of in, a lot of increased intensity. Oh, now watch out! That intensity right there. Yeah. Boone has been always been very methodical, very effective in the ring, but he has upped the intensity level, upped the uh, I don't want to necessarily call it brutality, but yeah, he's uh, he's taken no prisoners. And that's what he's got to call on that type of move there. And pin attempt, barely two, only one. Wow. 
Crosshairs Kelly along with Pat the Bruiser make up the team of Warhorse. Oh, look at that. He took the power, the big man, right off his feet and only two. Thinking back to the Warhorse against the Circus of Pain matches, I think Warhorse gave the Circus of Pain, Kenny, more than any other tag team thus far. They are just double tough. Well, there's two of them. Great tag team combination. Went toe to toe with them in three matches. But now Ben Boone's getting crosshairs Kelly where he wants him. Kelly though firing away. Oh, great move. Great offense from Benjamin Boone. The pin attempt. Oh, wow. That was close. That's the thing about Boone. He's been around a while, been around 10 years or so, and he's been in there with so many veterans, and he can just reach down into his bag of tricks and just come up with a move that'll knock you silly. Looks like we might be seeing one of those right here. Going to the top. This is that versatility. And let's see, Benjamin Boone setting himself. And oh! He got him, watch him go for the pin right away. Referee is there, this could be it. One, two, and. Wow, what's Benjamin Boone gonna have to do to put Kelly away? He's gonna have to get more into those bag of tricks. He's gonna even... have to string a couple of moves together. One, one move isn't gonna get it done here. So far, that's about all he's had time for because Kelly keeps coming back. Well, Mr. Kelly isn't the only one with some lethal, lethal chops. Oh, bad miss by Benjamin Boone. And another one. And Kelly's right there. Oh. Wow. Step up in Zaguri. And Boone is down. Crosshairs Kelly, though, still trying to recover from the latest offense from Benjamin Boone. The referee's putting the count in. You know what I want to know, Sullivan? What? Who would name their kid Crosshairs? Good question. Kenny, do you know? I was wondering why it was Kelly at first. That might be the last name, I guess, huh, Terry? Could be. Well, now, here they go. Two big bulls going at it here. Crosshairs Kelly has the advantage, though, on The Bachelor. Now, ah, there you go. Spinebuster by the by Benjamin Boone. Rock splash. In for the count. One, two, and. See, I've watched Benjamin Boone as you have, Kenny, long enough to know that you can never count this guy down until that three count goes in. He's always going to come up with something. He put two moves together, still didn't get him. He's going to have to put on quite a series of moves. Crosshairs Kelly is pretty, pretty aggressive. But if there's, one, if there's one competitor that has those types of tricks, it would be the bachelor. I would agree. But all this time that Benjamin Boone is taking getting to the top rope is giving oh. Kelly the opportunity to get up, and bad news for the bachelor. I can't believe how physical this match has been. Both these guys are giving it a lot. It's going to be a rough Monday. Yeah. I mean, this is tight, title match intensity. It truly is. And Crosshairs Kelly with the advantage now. Oh! Dumps him over. That's it. Gets a th oh. No! Almost. I mean, this is the type of intensity that is making me pretty happy that I'm sitting on this side of the table at this moment. And I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to be in there with either one of these guys. I don't think you'd be intimidated by anybody. Oh, no, neither one of them want me in the ring with them. Oh, Crosshairs Kelly hoists him up, 240 pounds, but Boone gets out of that. He was bound and determined he wasn't going to stay around for the that execution. Now setting him up. Sit right here. Going for oh, the better. Oh! oh. oh. He was trying to set crosshairs up for the finishing move, the, the bed of roses, but Kelly had other thoughts. And Benjamin Boone flat on his back now at ringside. 
Referee foot in the count to both men now. Kelly forcing the advantage. Oh, he's got a chair. Now ah, Benjamin Boone's in another zone. That's it. Oh. oh, no. Yeah, I think a disqualification for using the chair. I bet you he's hoping that he accepted that rose now, huh, Terry? Yeah, for sure. And Ben Boone ain't done either. Ladies and gentlemen, The Bachelor has been disqualified. Your winner of the match by disqualification, Crosshairs Kelly. That's Pat the Bruiser. Come out to help out his tag team partner, the other half of War Horse. Now it's a two on one on Ben Boone. This is why it's important to have friends and here we. This is not good for The Bachelor. No, what are they gonna do here? Whoa. Oh, here comes Aaron Orion. What's he doing what out here? What's going on? Big right hand. In here? And a low blow by Ben Boone on Pat the Bruiser. Match is over, doesn't matter at this point. Ref can't do anything. Here comes the Bella Roses. Question is, what's Aaron Orion doing out here? Say, I did not see that one coming. Ben Boone and Aaron Orion know each other very well. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Are you kidding? Uh, Are you kidding no. me? That's the same symbol that Nate Manson used last month. I think we got two more members of the Sons of Michigan is what we got. That's a game changer there. That makes three. Aaron Orion along with the bachelor Benjamin Boone. What do we have here, Mr. Boone? The start of an alliance? Don't call it a comeback, baby. This is where the power lies. Oh, my. Oh, my. More Power Bob Wrestling coming up. Power Bob Wrestling returns to Toledo coming up on Sunday. August the 18th, it's a summer stunner at St. Clemens Hall, 2990 Tremainsville. Four title matches on the card, including Brandon Day defending the heavyweight title against sexy Sean Casey. And you can find everything you need to know, including tickets at pbwexcitement.com. It's a summer stunner, Sunday, August the 18th at Power Bomb Wrestling. Firebomb Wrestling back here in Toledo, Sunday, August 18th. It is the Summer Sizzler, one of the strongest pro wrestling cards ever presented in the city of Toledo from top to bottom. They're all main events. Last time here in Toledo, you saw War Horse in individual matches against The Bachelor, Benjamin Boone, and Aaron Orion. Coming up on Sunday, August 18th, a man, you, uh, what is it with this intensity? I'm not talking to the video scope. I'm talking to you, Terry. War Horse thinks that they could come in, make a name of themselves, try to steamroll The Bachelor. That is not going to happen. That is not going to happen. When you go to war, you come prepared. You enlist only the finest. And I have enlisted the Vehicle City villain. Aaron Orion, come in here, Aaron. Come in here. Aaron Orion, man, with a great reputation. You're in tag team action with Ben Boone against War Horse. See, when you call for a war, you call Aaron O'Ryan, and when you need a tag partner, you enlist a tag team specialist. That is the Vehicle City villain. Benjamin Moon, you made the right call, because now I stand for the first time in a very long time in Powerbomb Wrestling's ring. 
Going to be something to see Sunday, August 18th, Action Time, 5 p.m. Don't miss it. What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. Well, it looks like the Sons of Michigan are going to ride again. Well, now you understand why Aaron Orion is here in Powerbomb Wrestling. And, uh, well, it goes back a, a couple of months because Nate Matson, after his match with Sean Casey, sort of alluded to it. Well, you interviewed him. Right. You yeah, interviewed him. Tried to. And wasn't, he wasn't happy because there was interference like there normally is in a five most wanted match. And he gave the symbol. Right. Actually, it would be this side. Of, okay. Uh, the Sons of Michigan, which used to be together. It was Ben Boone, Nate Madsen. That was the quite pro, a number of years ago. Yeah. But uh, the three of them are back together again. And Ben Boone, Aaron Orion will take on Warhorse. Wow. Nate Madsen will be there. Wow. I believe uh, he will end up taking on Atlas Hightower. Shaping up to be another solid car. But don't be surprised if Nate Madsen's around ringside when. Uh, when any of the Sons of Michigan get in the ring. Got to have the backup these days around Powerbomb Wrestling, no matter who you're in there with, it seems. Should we talk about Sunday, August 18th, Summer Stunner? Absolutely. All right. Uh, Celeste Taylor against uh, Brian Douglas, loser leaves Powerbomb. Cody Hawk back in town against D-Ray 3000. <laughs> the Circus of Pain against a couple of unfortunate slugs, whoever they might be. I'll be back in action. Uh, Women's match, Heidi Katrina, Arella Angel. You also have uh, Malice defending his Midwest title against Palmer Cruz. Andy Shane, Madman Fulton, the winner gets a title match. And for the heavyweight title, Brandon, Brandon Day, Day defending against Sean Casey. From five most wanted. PBWExcitement.com is where you can get your tickets. I'll be here next week. Terry may not. Until then, <laughs> it's Powerbomb Wrestling.